everybody. I know it's been a long time since I've checked in. Since then, Dad and Mary, that's my husband. Um, so we have some exciting news for you guys. Back when I was 13, there was speculation um, that I would never be able to have kids. Um, that's just because things that ran in my family and some situations with endometriosis and cysts and we weren't sure. Um, about five years ago when I was 18, I was told after having the surgery that it would be highly unlikely, like million to one chance that I would never have kids. And if I got pregnant, we wouldn't go to full term. Well, several months ago, we had found out at a healing service that we were going to be going to a marriage conference. And so we did. And the last night of the marriage conference, it was Reverend Greg Green. There was a healing service. And I was in so much pain that night. My, just everything in my lower stomach and abdomen was just in pain and like, felt like everything inside me was stuck in a vice grip. It was just hurting so bad. And so I went up and he asked me what I was going up for healing for and I told him the endometriosis, the polycystic ovarian syndrome, and it was because I wanted to be able to have kids. And he started laughing uncontrollably and he said, well, do you want children? And I kind of looked scared and I told him, eventually. And he started laughing still. And he's like, why are you coming up for healing if you don't want them right now? And I said, well, right now I want the option. I, I, I know God can heal this. I want that option. And immediately he, he started laughing. So he said, well, you're going to have a baby. That's no question. And you know, he prayed over me and immediately. All the pain was gone. It hasn't come back. Um, that next night, that same night, no, it was the next night. Same night. Same night? Same night. Same night. Uh, my husband went up for healing for his lungs, he works with wood a lot. So it's a struggle, certain words just really mess with you. And he went up for healing and all of that helped and worked and went through and praise God, he's healed. And that night we got engaged, uh, started planning the wedding. And it was really funny because I told him prior what day I wanted to get married. And so I screenshotted the date, and I circled it, and I sent it to him, and I said, do with it what you will. And I'm thinking, he's probably going to wait talk the week before, and we're just going to go elope somewhere. <laughs> and so that night, that same night, he proposed. I was emotional, and of course I said yes. And I start planning the wedding, getting everything settled. A week later, we found out that we are not only pregnant, we were almost six weeks pregnant. So not only have I been miraculously healed, um, I was already carrying a miracle child. I was already carrying the impossible. So God's definitely got a purpose in our lives. And with that, um, going into the gender reveal and we'll let you guys find out what we're about to have. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Do it, do it, do it. Go <laughs> Going extra slow for mama. <laughs> You're going to make her anxiety. Oh my gosh. Uh, she she gave, me, gave me free reign. Okay. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I was right. <laughs> 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 Woo! Woo! Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I get the scissors. There you go, there you go. Oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. no. <laughs> 